Hi everyone, uh, another video for today here while I've got uh, some nice weather. Uh, this is uh, my uh, modified RC Powers uh, T50 version 5. Um, I did a fairly lengthy, I think about a six part uh, build video uh, on my blog, or build video, sorry, build, build log on my blog. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so anyway, you can read about that. Uh, quite a few modifications. I'm not going to talk about those uh, too much uh, right now. Uh, I'm just going to toss her in the air here and uh, talk a little bit more about its uh, uh, performance and something that I learned uh, very quickly in my first couple of flights, which, uh, which I'll show you. So anyway, here we go. So actually pretty stable on launch. I'm using the Emacs... Uh, 2306 2750 quad racing motor. <laughs> this uh, this is supposed to be faster, uh, according to what RC Power says, than the F22, and I would uh, I would definitely say that. But it definitely has some more unique uh, flight characteristics. It's um, you can't get a better. Yeah, I'm still I'm still uh, apologize for not being able to bring it quite as close as I can with some of my other planes here. As I'm still trying to get used to it, but I guess that color for you guys probably doesn't show up all that well. <laughs> so we'll throw her into a high speed turn here. It actually tracks quite well. Like any, uh, I've only ever built the. T50 version one, I think, and it it definitely is a plane that likes to go fast, which uh, you know I'm not I'm not uh, too worried about. <laughs> Victory roll. Like I said, I'm still getting my throws uh, figured out. I've actually got quite a bit of uh, I've got to go over it with uh, more of a fine tooth comb when I get home. I've I don't know if I got some trim or, or uh, some warp or something, but I've got quite a bit of left uh, trim in it right now but I haven't you know I haven't sort of zeroed out the uh, there's a bit of a better pass <laughs> I haven't zeroed out the uh, control services yet I like to do that sort of after about 10 or 12 flights you know once the servos and everything all get seated and the hinges get broken in a bit so I could be <laughs> I could be still trimming against some uh, you know a control surface that's maybe not dead centered uh, I don't know but like I said I'll let that break in a little bit so it's it uh, one thing I do notice uh, you know compared to other planes that I fly the battery actually sits uh, fairly high in relation to the wing plate so I don't know that it's top heavy but one thing I have to really watch especially in the roll is at a certain point it really wants to start rolling a lot harder on its own so I'm it's taken me quite a while uh, and I don't think I still have the the uh, the throws dialed in the way I want them just in the roll. The other thing is I got to be really careful. Like when I go over the top of the loop here, I'm not even pulling there. The nose the nose is dropping itself uh, pretty easily because you know the weight is a bit higher in relation to the wing plate than say it is on uh, <laughs> on uh, the Mig 35 and uh, the F22. Okay, so. One more high speed pass and we'll bring her in for landing here. Good uh, good glide profile. Wants to glide forever. So there we go. All right, uh, so there's the RC Powers uh, T50 version five. Uh, again, uh, quite a bit uh, highly modified, which you can read uh, read about in the uh, in my blog on my blog so you can see you know maybe you can see I've got quite a bit of uh, left trim in there so I'm not sure uh, again I have to go over it a bit more with a fine tooth comb but uh, okay I'm not I won't uh, like I said I don't have my throws dialed in just yet because this is only uh, I think this is the sixth flight um, so I won't talk about those too much let's just unplug the battery here um, all right, so uh, big lesson learned. Uh, I, uh, I won't sit on there. 
I, um, you know, I, I, I probably tell other people when they're asking me about KFs, uh, you know, one of the most important things to do, and one of the most important things to do is, especially when you got KF4s, is to uh, make sure that the trailing edge of them is uh, lined up. And uh, I, uh, you know, I didn't pay as close attention to that as I should have. And and what was happening, you know, I'd go up, I'd go up in the vertical, you know, do a split S, and as I started to come down, you know, you're kind of, you know, you're in a split S, and you, uh, and and you pull out of the split S, and you're, you know, you're just starting to accelerate past the stall speed and what was happening was the the left wing would take a real uh, occasionally take a real dart um, to the left like it would it would bank and yaw left quite aggressively and then the first couple flights when I was landing it as I slowed down it would the the, the left wing would drop um, quite dramatically now I know I've got a lot of left trim in um, but uh, so I thought hmm that's not really it was actually a bit scary uh, so what I did was I determined this is how much I cut off uh, it's, you know it's gonna be very hard for you to see but I cut off about two millimeters I found out that the bottom KF on my left wing the trailing edge was actually about two millimeters uh, behind where it was on the top so what was happening was you know as it uh, went from you know sort of being really slow accelerating down was that there was you know you're getting I was getting an uneven amount of lift I guess probably between the two wings and it was causing the left wing to quite aggressively uh, you know a couple times I did split S's and I almost ended up in these trees over here because it was doing you know one of these things and then like I said the first couple landings uh, slowing down and it really wanted to uh, yank over to the left so a uh, big lesson learned there again as uh, you may have seen in my MiG-35 video where I did an inver inadvertent touch and go. Thank God uh, thus far today the uh, RC gods are with me. So, But anyway, that's uh, that's something, uh, you know, again, a bit of a wake-up call there. Um, can never get too complacent. But, uh, yeah, that was quite a bit of foam. And since I cut that off, uh, you know, it's still, I'm still obviously trimming it in and getting it balanced. Um, my CG, again, I think on every version 5 from RC Powers that I've built, um, I this just at the very end of my finger, it's going to be hard for you to see, but that's the pinhole that I poked in the foam. That's the dead center of the little, they put a little like a dark uh, rectangle in this CG spectrum that they use. And almost every single one of my version 5s, I've ended up, my CG is actually... Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty much neutrally balanced there. That's probably a good half inch, three eighths to a half an inch. So that's where my uh that's where my balance point is there. So yeah, not sure what's going on there. When it first, when I launched it on the first, it just you know it didn't go like whack, it didn't do any crazy silly uh stuff, but uh you know it I had to as the flight was going on, and normally when I made in a plane I, I like to take it up like a couple hundred feet in the air anyway. Uh, so I just kind of let it float up there, and then I ended up on that maiden flight, uh, you know, just so I could get it back down and land. I ended up putting a uh, full down trim, uh, just, you know, so that I could get the nose down and actually fly it. So my battery, my battery started off back here, and it's now probably, I don't know, inch and a quarter uh, further forward. Uh, everything is still relatively tight around the CG, especially now that my CG is about a half an inch further forward than than what I originally marked so uh, anyway so uh, there we go so uh, yeah really uh, really I, I would definitely say uh, you know I haven't flown the f-22 with this uh, with this motor but I have another one coming from Hobby King so uh, eventually you know in the future we'll do a little bit of a fly off here between the f-22 and the and the uh, the t-50 here but I, I think just from what I saw today this is a uh, this is a pretty fast little beast, and uh, it's, um, you know, the first few flights were not uh, quite as relaxing as some others that I've, that I've had, so uh, I would say this is not, uh, certainly not a beginner plane, and it's definitely maybe not even like a second, maybe a third plane, depending on how, where your skills are, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, you know, real little rocket uh, with a little quad racing motor in there, it's, you know, it is super light, it's uh, only 19... I think 19.4 ounces with the uh, 
with the 2200 three cell. Uh, don't know how it's going to handle the wind. It's dead calm here today, but uh, yeah. So there we go. Like I said, back to the workshop. Uh, I'm going to go over with a fine tooth comb. See if I can figure out why I have uh, need so much left trim. Uh, maybe I'm just going to have to live with that. You never, you never know. But uh, there we go, folks. Uh, RC Powers uh, modified RC Powers uh, T50 version five. Lots of links in the comments down below. Please check those out. Uh, thanks very much for watching. It was a big, uh, what do they call them? A murder of crows when they're a big group of crows <laughs> all squawking over there. They're obviously not too happy with the noise I'm making. So, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Uh, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.